Hi everyone! Different video, right? Well, I hope you guys enjoy this little video that I put together. Starting off with toast number one, which is a classic peanut butter and banana toast. Um, so I spread on a good layer of peanut butter onto my toast. Um, you can use any type of nut butter you want doesn't have to be peanut butter and make sure you get an even layer on there and then next add your slices of banana um, as you can see I've only got eight slices um, and then I added a sprinkle of chia seeds and hemp seeds that I just happen to have on hand and then afterwards I put a good sprinkle of cinnamon because I love having that on my banana peanut butter toast and the peanut butter I used is the Pix peanut butter the smooth one um, that's my favorite of all time and yeah that's it it's super simple and easy to make in the morning if you want something sweet as well but something that's quite substantial so yeah you can easily sub for, you know, other nut seed butters that you have on hand um, and any other toppings you want after the banana or you could just not even put anything if you want things super simple. Next recipe is a childhood favorite of mine and it can be weird to some people but trust me it's pretty good if you give it a go. So I just spread a good amount of mashed avocado onto the toast and making sure it gets everywhere on the toast so um, you get a bite of everything and then I put a um, half a teaspoon of honey and just spread it on top and lastly I sprinkled a pinch of salt to give it that sweet salty taste and some sesame seeds for presentation but could, you can totally omit that and that's about it you can totally sub the honey for maple syrup or just any other liquid sweetener you have at home and if you like that sweet and salty combo like me trust me add the salt it really brings up the flavors more it's so yummy. Next up is a savory option and it's my take on a classic cream cheese, tomato and basil combo but with added avocado. I spread a thin layer of vegan cream cheese. I used the tofuti one but any cream cheese works fine too. And then after that, I spread a layer of avocado on top of the cream cheese making sure it gets everywhere on that slice of toast and then afterwards I place some sliced up tomatoes and sprinkled on some salt and pepper to season it because it can get a little bland and um, as you can see the pepper grinder is a uh, not working too well <laughs> and then lastly um, i added on the basil leaves um, you can add as much or as little as you want it depends on you and that's it this is a super yummy and substantial meal without leaving you feeling heavy afterwards you can totally omit the avocado if that's just not your thing and also adding chili flakes gives this toast a spicy kick if you're into that, um, which I do, and added onto this toast. You can really tell that I loved this meal especially and was super happy to have. <laughs> Last recipe is um, an idea that I came up with with some of the things that I had in my fridge. So like the previous one, um, just spread a layer of cream cheese onto the toast and the, um, the unique ingredient is actually this. It's a apple 
local butter jam that I bought at my local Korean mart and I just spread it on um, a little goes a long way so a little bit is all you need I sprinkled on some ground cinnamon and lastly added some fresh blueberries that I had to give it a pop of color and freshness to the toast. It surprisingly tasted really good and it has that kind of apple pie kind of feeling without actually eating an apple pie, if that makes sense. You can totally use other jams that you have at home and fruits as well, such as strawberries, raspberries, peaches, nectarines, etc. And it would probably taste just as good as well. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little video that's different from my vlogs. Um, I had so much fun making this and I hope to make more in the future if you guys want to see them. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and um, see you guys in the next video. Bye!